This video is really about how we concern ourselves, not just with our own thoughts, but with the thoughts of others and what people think of us. Because this can actually be kind of a, it can get involved in our lives where maybe we want to wear a certain outfit or drive a certain car or wear a certain piece of jewelry or, um, you know, go to certain groups or, or sometimes when you're maybe at the beach and you just want to go running through the beach or dancing or sometimes when I do Tai Chi in public, I get a certain kind of pause where I start wondering like, okay, well, what are other people thinking about this rather, quote, strange behavior? Now, there's no doubt we're programmed to connect ourselves with others. We're social creatures and that's just part of our kind of DNA of the mind. We have uh, mirror neurons, these neurons that fire when we do something and when someone else does that same action. We, and they're sometimes even called empathy neurons or Ramachandra and the neuroscientists call them Gandhi neurons because they're really empathy neurons. They connect us with other people. And in another video I talked about how we've got this right temporal parietal area of the brain that uh, helps us feel the emotions of others and socially connects us and, and reaches out uh, to their feelings. But what I'm really getting at is their thoughts and their, these interpretations that other people are making. And a lot of it goes back to something else I've talked about a couple times, this concept from sociology called the looking last self. So I'm going to go slow with it, but it's really important. So I'm not who I think I am. I'm not who you think I am. I'm who I think you think I am. And so really it's kind of defining yourself in terms of how you think other people think of you. And the trick here is that when we come down to it, you really don't know what other people think of you. And if you're dancing on the beach or you're doing Tai Chi in public, you really don't know what they're thinking. In fact, the cognitive psychologist, these um, <clears throat> cognitive behavioral therapists, even call this uh, a thought error. They call it mind reading. And in therapy, they'll sometimes do a lot of work with a patient to try to correct this because uh, the, the reminder is that you don't really know what another person is thinking. Sometimes we're programmed for really basic emotions of other people. But in terms of these higher level thought patterns, Sometimes we're just making guesses. And the problem is oh, sometimes they're really bad guesses. And when you put this together with a couple of videos I did recently, how there's this continuous flow of selves. And so uh, that's, again, probably one of the biggest comments I get is how when people start doing this practice of becoming conscious of how many selves emerge and then come and go through even just a couple hour period in their lives, it's kind of remarkable to start wondering how there could even a, how a person could have even thought that there was a co coherent self behind them. And so that's fine when it's you. But if everyone's doing this, how could you possibly read these thoughts of other people when their selves are continuously changing and flowing too? And so uh, what's the point? Well, the point is to bring it back to that very old ancient practice of watching your thoughts instead of being identified with them because here's the tricky thing that happens with this when you watch your thoughts you become less identified with them you don't buy into them as much and that's a huge uh, epiphany for many people but it goes one step further when you do this not only do you stop taking your own thoughts so seriously but here's the thing you stop taking what you think other people are thinking as seriously also because you recognize that all you can do is think what they're thinking. You don't really know what other people are thinking. It's just your best mental guess, but half the time is wrong. And so when you recognize it as just being your best guess, you don't take it as seriously. And for all you know, you may end up dancing on the beach or uh, I don't know what you do, what that self at that moment is going to do. That's the wonderful thing about it. It's unpredictable. But you may actually find yourself kind of living kind of a dream or something that you wanted to do. You just were holding yourself back because you're too worried about what other people think. It's not what other people think. It's what you think they think. So uh, let me know how that works for you.